Okay, last little bit, getting loaded up in the Speed Fusion Sprinter. Oh, Speed Fusion Patriot. That's a, an American Coach Patriot RV. So I've got my tools, my equipment, my gear for the install. These are gonna be pretty simple installs-ish because I'm basically just installing or activating um, some installed equipment from a um, from a manufacturer. So basically, it's just going and setting up and programming it. But I got got my tools, got my got a computer. I'm going to drop off, and I've got my sim extenders and stuff that we're going to use. Got my ladder, got my console set up, got my Speed Fusion case and my clothes, and as always, MBX Mini dome for fun antennas on the roof with a starlink so we're on our way to shreveport louisiana and then houston texas so let's get let's get going there's you can see uh one two three four five domes up there here's my uh domes on the roof the 10, 10 domes, so five Verizon and five AT&T. Probably add some T-Mobile 5G later, but for right now, that's the uh, the domes on the roof. Okay, so there's a little bit of background noise, but I have my 24 port switch, my SDX Pro. I'm updating it to the latest 8.3 firmware for Synergy support. We have our 10 HD1 dome cables, so they're currently disconnected. Updating the firmware, I'll set five of them on module one with PoE WAN and five of them on module two. That way I'm just, just uh, loading up or um, equalizing the PoE load. So I'll have uh, three ports on, on module one, that is for LAN, and three ports on module two for LAN. Um, I'll update the switch to, uh, to 1.3 uh, firmware. And so what I have to do though is plug each dome in and update it to 8.3, enable synergy mode on the, on the port, and then, and then uh, factory reset the dome. So basically plug in a dome, load it to 8.3, um, and then um, factory reset it and enable synergy mode on that port. So that's what I'm doing right now, is uh, we'll be booting each device up. Then I've got two SIM injectors that I'm gonna set right here, and that's gonna feed the 10 domes on the roof. Okay, so you can see it online. There's my five Verizons my AT&T's on the SIM injectors going to the SDX Pro. These are my five uh, Verizon domes and my five AT&T domes I'm going up to the roof, uh, powered by the PoE on the WAN of the SDX Pro. And this is all being bonded back into an SDX. And to power this beautiful brand new mobile MAMO unit, you can see Here's the, the, the new Hologic uh, Mammo with the, uh, the higher roof there for taller people support. And then we have slide outs right here. So this area slides out and gives more space. We have an exam room uh, that also sits right there. We have our check-in space and, and waiting area. And then there's the front door and then there's the driver's door or another door. But it's a beautiful new Mammo unit over at LSU Health, running 10 5G domes 